Hello, welcome back to Sacred Vapes. The channel aims to bring you the views and experiences of products on the market today, brought to you by an average vapor. Now this week, finally bringing the review to you guys. It's something a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but it's really interesting, especially for the ripe type of vapor. It's this, the Joytech Runabout. Now when I heard the name, it reminds me of an old like late 70s, early 80s show. Can't think of the name of it now, but at the end of the theme tune, you all shout Runabout. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you can tell me what the name of that was in the comments below, I would be really grateful. But yeah, the Joytech Runabout, Joytech's latest pod system. Very interesting device. I thought, I've never, well, especially for the fact that I've never had a pod system before. It's never, I'm, you know, they're not designed for someone like me. So what I decided to do is go out, get some high nicotine liquid, take it out, you know, as my only device and, you know, give it a whirl. Now, I've, obviously I've been using it for the last few weeks on and off. You know, when I haven't been be able to take it out every day, but when I can, you know, we've been taking it out to try. So hopefully I can give you guys a fair and unbiased opinion on it. Hopefully the video is not going to be too long compared to something a lot bigger. But yeah, before we get into all the pros and cons, give her a vape. Now, this is a 480 built-in internal battery. It comes with USB charging. You've got the port at the bottom there. You have fire button on the opposite side. And it comes with the pod system as mentioned. Now the pod system, just pull straight out. You can just turn it around. As you can see on the camera, that part there, it just lifts out. As you can see, it just lifts out. There's your fill hole. Once, it, once the pod's full, it's a little bit fiddly, but just push it back in, and then you're good to go. So yeah, it comes, I think it's a 10 watt, it's 10 watt worth of power. The coil inside this is a built-in 1.6 ohm coil, and pretty much that's it. There's a little bit of a menu system. If you hold, hang on. Yep. Yep. Three clicks. Sorry, I had to work it out then. Three clicks, you can change the light color. So you can go from blue, cyan, green, red, dark blue, and then hold the fire button in to lock it in. And you get the light on the bottom there as well. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I had to figure it out without firing it. So, pros and cons about this device. First pro for me is the flavour. Now, with it being such a low-powered device and such a restricted device, it's you know you're not going to be getting a full hundred watt triple mesh experience with it. But I tried this as say with high nicotine liquid to use it as it's meant to be used, and I used it with my own. You'll hear me mention it a few times: homemade fog juice, and the flavour is really good. I mean, I've got the fog juice back in it now. You know, and the flavour's coming through, it's quite nice. I mean, it's a bit muted, as you'd imagine, but it's a lot better than what I expected. The next pro for me is going to be those long drawers you can take. The fact that it wicks really, really well. I mean, this liquid inside, I mean, the, one, the high nicotine one was higher in PG. But this nicotine, uh, nicotine, this liquid 
is about 70 VG and it's working fine, you can chain vape on it. And it keeps up. So the wicker inside the pod is fantastic as well. Another pro for me is the design. I think it's nice and comfortable to hold. It's not too heavy compared to the odd device out there. And it's not too light either. If if a pod system like this is gonna be light, imagine it's gonna be it's gonna feel a bit cheap to me. This feels solid, it feels well made. You know, it's made out of metal, so it does feel nice and firm. The cons now the cons is with any sort of pod device, you know, if you leave it lying down like that for too long, especially if the tank's not full, you'll find you might get a bit of gurgling. Especially if you're leaving it down to charge. Charge time's about an hour and a half, I've found, two hours. Um, it hasn't got any special fast charging. And I, I'd always say, when I USB charge, I do it through a computer, not a wall socket, just for added safety. So yeah, you're gonna get that bit of gurgling. If you're gonna use Nick Salt in something like this, then yeah, you're gonna get a little bit of a harsh hit if you leave it lying down too much. But take a few pulls, it goes away. Um, the only, I can't think of any other cons for this. It, as much as a, as much as I want to give you an in-depth review, there, uh, there isn't much you can really talk about it. The flavor's good. The vapor production's good for such a low power and such a low, um, such a high, um, ohm range on the coil. Yeah, I mean, battery life for me lasted me all day using it as you're meant to use it. If you're going to chain vape this like a sub ohm tank, you're probably going to get about two hours worth of life out of it. But if you take it out just for that nicotine hit, you know, just a quick pull, then you are going to get it to last most of the day. So that's another big pro for me. But yeah, who I'd recommend this for? Anyone who wants to stop smoking, if you know somebody wanting to move on from smoking to vaping, you know, or you want something a bit more stealth, then really, I'd really recommend this. I really would. I mean, I know it's the first pod system, but that I've tried and brought to you guys, but yeah, really, really good. Got, got no complaints about it at all. It does its job well. Good flavor for what it is. Good battery life for what it is. Yeah, certainly check it out if you're after a pod system. This will actually save you quite well. But yeah, thank you for watching as always. I appreciate every single person who watches these videos. Next up, I'm going to record a second video this weekend. It's going to be the Drag 2. So definitely you want to check that one out. Um, after that coming up, it's going to be the Naboo. The well, the Naboo kit from Smoant. Um, and I'm going to try and bring you the Skynet tank from Org Vape. So, interesting devices coming up next week. But as always, as I say, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. Keep vaping.